Sunday go ho, Sunday go ho, Sunday go ho. Emo emo lo ni mo kwe. I doff my heart for you. Ah, Sunday go ho. Omo baba me mo support egon. Ja gon ja. Eh, ora ona kaka kafu gombo wateli e. Bright shaggy go anteli e. Ja ko no mo pa. Eh. If I, if the next person, if the next thing for me to do to make sure that a full any man does not destroy my farm somewhere with impunity, does not go out to kill my neighbor with impunity, does not think, think that he has a right. Lagosians show massive support for Sunday Igbowo. The people of Lagos show massive support for Nigerian activist Sunday Igbowo for rising against the major insecurity in the country. Sunday Igbo has been in the news lately following his agitation for Yoruba nation and subsequent clash with the Fulani community in Oyo State. He recently gave a seven-day ultimatum to Fulani elders in the Barapa axis of Oyo State to leave the area in the wake of the heightened insecurity in the state, as well as the southwest as a result of the activities of kidnappers and bandits. Mr. Igbo alleged that elders have been responsible for the killings and kidnappings of the residents of Okeogun and Ibarapa. Broadway TV to correspondent took to the street of Lagos to find out their stance of the people on the issue and also if they don't think the issue will inspire some sort of tribalism war. They came from far away, fighting everybody. They want to take over our land. They want to take over Sunday Igboho, Sunday Igboho, Sunday Igboho, I doff my heart for you. You are a great man. Forget about the juju and everything. You said, Sunday Bo said something that triggered me. He said, if the 12 tribes of Israel are not the 12 calendar months we are having in this world, that his battle will fail. But he has said the right thing. The 12 tribes of Israel are the 12 calendar months from January to December, which is a fact. For him to call God, for him to believe in Jesus Christ, for him to remember Jerusalem, for him to remember Israel, Sunday, Ibuhu, the sky is your limit. Deal with them. Ibuari come. You understand? Anybody that is obstructing your people in your state, deal with them. A man called Sunday Ibuhu rose up hmm. to fight uh, kidnappers and headers yes. in, in Nigeria right now. Yes. He's going everywhere now. Yes. Are you in support of him, one? And do you think that if he continues, don't you think he's going to cause tribalism war in Nigeria? I'm going to let it cause tribalism war, Lou. Because myself now, nah, I remember saying my papa didn't get juju for, for Calabar. Ah, Sunday go, oh my papa, I'm going support the gun. Ja, gun, ja. Eh, or I'm going to go to the gun. I'm going to go to the gun. I'm going to go to the Eh, don't stop. I'm going to go to the gun. Fight on. We will follow you. No problem, Baba me. We are in support of you. We are in support of you. Nothing do you. Eh, if you get gone, give yourself. We too won't follow your fight. Eh, Baba? But I try to get everything I might do. So far, my job, no problem. They say self-preservation is the first law in heaven. It is when I'm alive that I can say, ah, there is Baba God somewhere. You know. So, let me tell you. First of all, let me let you understand that. I believe that not every Fulani man, not every Fulani Katurera is a criminal. But these ones that are criminals, we have to chase them out of our land. And if the only person who, has, who seems to have taken that leadership role, and everybody is queuing uh, behind him, is Sunday Bo, I support him, me, I will support him any day. In fact, if the next person, if the next thing for me to do to make sure that a Fulani man does not destroy my farm somewhere with impunity, does not go out to kill my neighbor with impunity, does not think, think that he has a right to, to, to take over um, from, from Kaura Namoda to the, to the Atlantic Ocean. Our land is our land. When you are coming, you are coming, to, you are coming on our own terms. So I believe that it is time for us to take action. And that action that Sunday Go has taken, I, me, me as a person, I'm talking of Yinka Kobe, I queue behind him. I believe so strongly in it. And I, I say twirly to him. But really, when if you look at the, the state of things in the present day Nigeria, you will see insecurity everywhere, all that. Though the government, they may be trying their best and all that, but their best is not enough at all. When you are being terrorized, when you are being humiliated, when you are being oppressed, what you need to do, you need to stand up and just defend yourself and all that. I believe Sondo Igbowo is not a kind of, well, legally, it may be wrong, I don't know, but the truth is, I think, 
to me, to my best of knowledge, I think he's doing the very the, the writing. I support him totally. I'm in support of him. Not being uh, appreciated. It's unfortunate. These are people who knows the terrain of the, the communities. These are people who stay in community. These are people who knows the topography and demography of the area they live. These are people who knows where you have these criminals. But unfortunately, the government just keeps silent. They neglected us. On several occasions, we have met them. Even in Lagos State, we have met, we have written to them, we have met them. They tell us they've called us. They will never call us. During this, uh, the campaign of the, uh, of the governor, we are there. We provided security for him during his campaign team. When he got to office, he jetted to us. Is it supposed to be so? That's why we are now folding our arms. We are looking at them. Let them continue to fight their insecurity the way they want to do it. But they know the writing. But I think politics is what is disturbing them. In the Iboho, if you ask me, is not, uh, it's not uh, uh, employed by the government. It's not uh, in any of the security services. But his actions uh, are commendable in the face of failure of leadership. What he has done in a good setting is condemnable. Do you understand? But what do you do when the government that is supposed to protect you has failed? Insecurity everywhere in this nation. In the north, it has now come to the south, in the east, in the middle birds. Everywhere insecurity. And government is playing politics with this. Nigerians have been murdered in their hundreds. Very pathetic. And yet government has not taken any credible step to nip this in the board. Sunday Iboho is acting the script of many Nigerians, if you ask me. What do I mean by that? An average Nigerian will want to act exactly the way Sunday Iboho is acting because the government, who ought to have acted the same way, have failed. But not everybody has Sunday Boho's war chests. It is courage. It is born out of frustration. People are shouting and no one is listening to them. And these communities are finding solace in this man that has stuck out his neck and say, if I perish, I perish. Look at what is happening in the East. The soldiers will just enter the streets and begin to kill civilians. You're looking for the Eastern Security Network, the, the, the members of Eastern Security Network. They are in the bush. You cannot trap them into the bush. And then on the streets of Imo State, soldiers in uniform were shooting innocent, armless citizens. And government has not come to condemn this. I've tried to go through the media, print, and otherwise. I've not seen the statement by the federal government or state government condemning this because they are rightly behind it. Even if they kill Sunday Iboho today, there are so many Sunday Ibohos that, that have been born out of frustration. What is happening in Nigeria? is quite pathetic. I will tell you the truth. If care is not taken, in the coming months, it will be worse than we are experiencing now. Government has to rise to the occasion and nip this insecurity in the board. How can people come from the Sahel come from Mali, come from other countries, as attested by the government that the insurgents are foreigners. And you allow foreigners to come into your country and begin to kill your citizens, and you're doing nothing about it. Well, my take is that uh, I'm not too excited. 
in the north, in the middle belt, in the south, east, and in the southwest, killing people. During the COVID, during the lockdown, during the lockdown, they were trooping down to the east. And government said nothing about it. How do you explain this? A government that is taking sides because our president is a Fulani man, then Nigeria has become a safe heaven for Fulanis. Nobody's against what they are doing as headers, as pastoralists. For whatever reason, we have lived with them over years. But the developments in the past few years has given us cause to worry. They are no longer as peaceful as they used to be. And as such, they have given Nigerians reasons to say enough is enough. I tell you, I support 100% what Ibuho is doing today. <laughs> Because <laughs> Do you think it's causing any sort of tribalism war? Because people will see things in different perception. Forget, forget. There are Fulanis who support what we are doing, what Sunday Igbo is doing. There are Igbos who support what Sunday Igbo is doing. There are Hausas who support what Sunday Igbo is doing. There's nothing like, Nigerians are wise people. Though. It is only when politicians want to divide others, that's when they talk about tribalism. The fact that we are protecting ourselves doesn't mean we are tribalistic. We are only protecting ourselves to make the land conducive for everybody to live in. There are Hausas here, there are Igbos here. When I was in the university, I, I, I chaired my room with Hausas, Igbos, Ibibios, Fulanis. We never had any problem. We don't have any problem. We don't have any problem coexisting. If you, if you walk out of my gate now, you will see uh, I was a full of guys riding Okada, selling oranges and yam. We are, we, are, we are here. We are not saying they should go. They are here. We are living together. So there's nothing like tribalistic war here. It is just a case of saying, Yoruba says, Ma foko mi da or no. It's just only a man call. Which means, look, do not turn my farm into a thoroughfare. It, must, it is one day that I will wake up and say, enough is enough. So enough is enough. And I believe, and I, I represent some Nigerians who probably have, are, are, are living the way, they are, who believe the way they are in what I believe. And even if there are only 10, what I say is representing their opinion. There's nothing wrong, there's nothing tribalistic about what Sunday Igbo is doing. It is high time we did it, and we are doing it now, and I support it. Several years ago, before our forefathers were born, there was a town called Gobiru. Gobiru was left for the Fulanese to bring in their cows, their heads, live there, and distribute to outsiders. What the Fulani did then, they killed everybody in Gobri. They killed the leaders, they killed the youths, they killed everybody there, took over the place, renamed the place Sokoto. Today we have Gobe as Sokoto. If you, they try the same thing with Ruga, rural grazing area. If you allow a full animal to stay at the back of your house, before dawn, he kills everybody and takes over your territory. So, that's tribalism number one. An Hausa man cannot talk where a full animal is talking. If you're a full animal and you're a general in the army, you control everybody. If you're a full animal and you're a sergeant, you control generals that are non native. I was in Tinkan Island, I was the first Secretary General Rural Port Drivers Association of Nigeria. I saw something in Tinkan. In Tinkan Island, I saw younger custom officers who are from the Fulani tribe 
controlling those Igbos, controlling the Igbos and the Yorubas who are senior to them. If a Fulani man is a captain, Nigeria army, and an Igbo man is a general, Nigeria army, the full animal is a captain, instead of giving respect to the general, he will tell the general, go to hell. Because you know the general is an evil man. And if the general, general there complain about the attitude of such full, a full animal captain, soldier, Nigerian soldier, the full animal man will go on top. Before you know it, the evil man goes on voluntary retirement. That is tribalism. The full animals brought tribalism into Nigeria. They don't live here. They are not from this place. They don't have a state in Nigeria. They came from far away. Fighting everybody. They want to take over our land. They want to take over. For more of this amazing content, please log on to our website at www.broadwaytv.tv and on Instagram at the Broadway TV. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel, The Broadway TV.